What's up, everybody? What's going on? Showboats Battlehawks starting in a few moments, waiting for the ABC channel to switch on over. Hopefully it starts, like, right now, because they were doing this stupid home theft shenanigans. The Rising Rhino! It's better than nothing. Vermont knows. Vermont knows. Oh, it looks like it's switching. It's Battlehawk time. You guys know what time it is? <laughs> UFL on this Saturday morning, Saturday afternoon, if you're on the East Coast. They're going already. They're like, caca, caca, caca. Yeah, buddy, St. Louis is home. They are favored by six and a half. They're two and one. The showboat's one and two. Let's go. XFL. Uh, the Battle Hawks are in the XFL uh, division, and the boats are in the USFL division. But uh, Battle Hawks are on top because they got the tiebreakers at the moment. And they're home, so they should win again. And let's see if they bring about 40,000 people again. That'd be pretty sweet. ABC. I said it before, and Vermont said it. ABC, ABC, ABC. Uh, also on ESPN, I believe. They got an ESPN background, but I have it on uh, ABC. The foosball is the devil. The devil. What's up? What's up? Let's go through everybody that popped in before the game starts. Shady. Shady was here. Carl was here with number 13. Hi, oh, Omar popped in. Ready for some NFL football. Uh, I'm ready for all that is football. So hopefully Omar will be back because uh, he popped in a lot during the NFL, which was nice. Pretty cool. Good guy, Omar. Good guy. Oh, uh, who else? So Ramsey showing up bright and early. Cameron, ready for the Avalanche playoffs, Ranger playoffs, Knicks Nuggets playoffs. Lots and lots of playoffs. Begins today. So they got some basketball games and some hockey games going on today. We'll have to stay tuned with that later. Some games get underway in a little while. The Magic and the Cavaliers start in about a half hour. Suns Turbo Wolves at 3.30 Eastern time. 76ers and Knicks, 4 o'clock, uh, 6 o'clock Eastern time. I'll be streaming football, but I'll have to be paying attention to the Sixers and the Knicks game. Lakers and Nuggets, 8.30 Eastern time tonight. So those are the basketball games going tonight. Tomorrow, I got to set up the stream for, well, today for tomorrow, the Avalanche. The Avalanche play tomorrow night against the Jets. I'll be covering that. Streaming that bad boy. Oh, Pearson is back. First game of the season for the Battlehawks. He was on the Sea Dragons last year. Tore it up for uh, for them, the Seattle Sea Dragons. Glorious team in the XFL. He was a beast all over the place with uh, Ben DiNucci. Tossing it all over the place with the short passing game. Get the ball in his hands quickly and let him do some work. He is rocking jersey numero uno, Pearson. Pearson's number one, little quick guy, T.Y. Hilton type, T.Y., T.Y. So we'll call him J.P., J.P. So that's what's up, what's up, what's up, Beckett? Let's get ready to wreck it. Let's go, Battlehawks. Let's go. There it is, baby. It's time. It's going to have to be a packed out stadium. Hopefully it stays over 40,000. They had like 41,000. People, uh, no, they had 40,317 people on uh, the last home games. This is the second home game for them. And hopefully they crack 40K again. That'd be sweet. Keep this league alive, people. Keep it alive. Giants fan over the Battle Hawks. What up, what up, what up? Beckett, Card, who else popped in? Shady, Seth joining us. Your Knicks play the 76ers. Crush them. Let's go, Knicks. Let's get it, Seth. Two versus seven. Some people are picking the 76ers because Embiid is back. Got to watch out for that guy. So it'll be number 10 versus number 10. Cookies versus McCarran. Watch out, people. Watch out. All right. Let's get my phone on the charger. I said get the phone on the charger. Yeah, three of the eight teams are in Texas. Anybody but Texas. That's right, Vermont. We need more teams to negate all this Texasness. I don't know why they chose three out of eight Texas, but 
That's what's up. Oh, boy, what are you going to do? Oh, people are wearing a little blue sequin dress. Well, blazers out there, not dress. All right, so the battle has to be getting the ball first. It is time. Kickoff time. Boom! Kick over turn for the 17. Battle Hawks pass to 30 35 to the 38 yard line, where AJ McCarron will start it up. Let's go. Seattle deserved the spot. Yeah, Vermont, they should be here. They should be here. But maybe they'll be back soon. Second season with the Battle Hawks. Led the XFL in passing touchdowns last season with 24 in the 10 games. Just missing the playoffs, losing that last game of the season to the Sea Dragons. And we got the quarterback view from behind McCarron. Takes a snap. A little screen pass up top. Slips in on the run. Is that Butler? No, it wasn't Butler. Uh, Shepard. Shepard. It was – I was hoping it was Pearson. But he's number one, not double one. So uh, get six yards on the other reception on second and four. Second and four for the Battlehawks. Yeah, buddy, the 43. Just keep moving. Just keep moving. Over under 45 and a half. Takes a snap, swings it down low. Now it's Pearson. Spin maneuver breaks a tackle. Gets close to the sticks. Depends on the spot. The ref has it right at the first down line. One catch, four yards. First down, Pearson. Well, let's go. There it is. Gretkowski, the offense coordinator. Quick passes to start the game. Get the ball in the receiver's hands and make some magic happen. The field looks white in St. Louis. Can't be snow. What up, Ramsey? Uh, it snowed like... Uh, Half an inch last night, uh, but the, the weather's too nice, so it won't stick around. But it looks nice outside. The nice snow-covered trees, lightly covered. Watch out behind you, McCarron. Throw some time to the check down. Hits his man, Durant. Gets a tackle out of bounds to the 45-yard line of the showboats. Nice. He felt the pressure. Gets Hits his check down. Didn't have time for the play to develop. Durant makes the play eight yards. Well done. Well done. Second and two. Durant's now on the sideline. Sailor is probably out there and is. Bad grass like the 70s. That's not pretty, Nevermont. Lightning. Rut row. Uh, swings it down low. Hits his man. First down to the 40. Goes at about to 37. Another first down. Another catch by Pearson. Two catches. He only has like nine yards, but... Two first downs for this guy. Welcome back. I'd like to see you in the blue. Good stuff. Pearson in blue rooting for him is way better than rooting against this guy. He was too good. Slicing and dicing the Battlehawks last year. So I'm glad the enemy is now our friend. Now the, the Battlehawks receiving court could be pretty dangerous. Pearson, Butler, and a uh, little mix of Aitman and Shepard. Watch out. McCarron's got tons of weapons. Going over the middle, quick slanting, Joe Opsit, Aitman. What are you doing? Uh, right off the hands, well thrown by McCarron. But Aitman drops it. Oof. I just mentioned you, Aitman, and you dropped it. Not good for business. What up, Goose? Goose is loose. What's happening? My man, coming through. Good to see you, Goose. Good to see you. When's your next stream there, Goose? Let us know. What do you got on tap next? I know you do a bunch of hockey. You covering any hockey playoffs? And hands up the middle. Runs it to the 34. Gets about four. So it'll be third and six. Sailors on the carry. Raining in Texas. Snow. It's like a, no, it's light and fluffy snow. It's like a half of an inch or a quarter of an inch. It just covered the trees, and there's a light glaze on the cars and, like, uh, on the lawn. It looks nice. That's what you want to have. You don't want to have, like, crazy snow. It's just nice. It'll be gone by uh, by the morning. Just a nice little quarter-half-inch look. It's pretty sweet. 
pretty nice, especially seen in the mountains too. It's a nice view. McCarron up top and tackled my way behind the line on third and six, loses three yards, and I think they're out of field goal range. So the drive stalls, and at the 38, mm, you're looking at like a 54-yarder. They're going to line up for a field goal. They're going to take the shot. They're going to go for the long one. All the UFL kickers have been smashing field goals like crazy. Barto! Welcome back, Barto! <laughs> yeah, buddy. 54-yard field goal by Schmidt. Six or seven of the season. 54 is as long. He can match his long right here from the left hash. Looking good! Has the distance. Boom! Three, nothing. Let's go. I'll take the three. I'll take it. Oh, I got to get one of those little... Uh, Hawk uh, masks. Three nothing, baby. Three nothing. So they nailed a 54 yarder. Yeah, they use different footballs for these kicks. I don't like that because all the kickers are smashing these field goals through. I wonder how much impact the the footballs have <clears throat> on the kick. I'm curious. Booyah! That's right. Three nothing. It's not a touchdown, but I'll take three in the beginning. I will take three. They're home. I got to see shots of the uh, stadium, see how packed it is. They could school the NFL. Uh, the These kickers? Well, we'll see uh, how different the football is in the NFL compared to the uh, UFL. That kicker football might have a lot to do with it, man. But these guys are smashing them. The helium filling helps. Let's go, Battle Hawks. Cha, 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 cha. What's up, Ken? Caca, caca. Caca, caca. Caca is the law. You guys know what's up. You know the deal. You know what the law is. It's the Battle Hawk law. Do I like your background, Giants and Knicks, your little uh, logo, your little avatar guy, or whatever they call the little circle thing in my bob? Let's go, Knicks. I'll be rooting hardcore for the Knicks, man. Charles, CEO, host, network family. How's everybody doing on the live stream broadcast? We're doing swell, Charles. Welcome in. Welcome to the party. Welcome to some UFL action. Glad to have you. Cheers. This is straight up water. Woo wee. Um, I'll be covering the game later on today as well. We'll get a little gap in between so you guys can watch basketball. We got the uh, Defenders and the Stallions, 7 o'clock Eastern Time. Oh, crap. I don't know which one it is later, actually. Uh, I wanted to do the Defender Stallions, but I might have access to the Panthers Brahmas. It's like regional coverage, but none of them are in my region. So I don't know which one I'm having yet. It seems like it's Panthers Brahmas, but I don't know yet. So that's why when I, I have the I have the thumbnail with both of them on there. So I'm covering one of those two games because they're overlapped today, sad to say. So to the Defender Stallions, which I want it to be. Or the Panthers Brahmas. So one of those games we shall be doing. Hi, all. We got a new follower on the Twitch side. Thanks for joining in. Thanks, Barb. Appreciate it. Thanks for showing up and uh, following on the Twitch side. The Rising Rhino on Twitch, people. Also, Rising Rhino on Rumble. Streaming over there as well. JPZ will play some today. <clears throat> You're talking about Pearson? Pearson has two catches, like uh, eight yards and two first downs already. There's a uh, return to download 35, 40, 45, midfield, 45 yard line of the Battlehawks. Sweet return, amazing field position for the boats. Good start. But they got Cookers coming out there. He had 2,294 yards passing, 15 touchdowns with the Stars last season, the Philadelphia Stars. 
He's got three touchdown passes on 537 passing yards in three games. And he leads the team in rushing with 75 yards. Leads the team with rushing. How about that? Stallions are dominant. They're, they are they are top-notch, Ramsey. Top-notch. Back-to-back USFL champions and undefeated here this season for the UFL 3-0. Runs it for about five yards to the 36 yards to the 38. <clears throat> Victor on the carry. Oh, boy. Boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Which uniform do you like uh, best? The Eagles or the Lions? Eh. Eh, I don't know. Either one, flip a coin. Throws it down low, hits Victor. First down to the 30, 27 yard line. Boom. Only a field goal range. Number 27 takes him to the 27. And here comes the boats. The boats are sailing, pun intended, on the first drive. Uh, I am streaming the Avalanche game tomorrow. Yep, yep, yep. I'm covering that. I'm covering. Sunday, Tuesday, and I think Friday. Yeah, I'm covering a bunch of the games. And passes it up top for another first down. 11 yards on the reception. Where is this defense? Uh, Davis on the catch. Uh, the defender in front almost knocked it down, but first down again for the boats. Man. Yep, I'll be covering the Avalanche a bunch. I think I'm covering a, a Nuggets game Monday. I think I can cover that game. Inside the danger zone to the 18, 17-yard line. Shotgun, no running back. Cook is looking. Going over the middle, hits this man first down and into the end zone. Boom! There it is. Touchdown, Papale. This defense was terrible for the Battlehawks. Easy peasy drive for the showboats. Easy peasy touchdown. For Papale, Cook is the Papale. 17 yard touchdown reception over the middle. Tom Opinu? Um, I didn't hear anything. I got to check that. That would be huge if he's not active. All right. They're going for one at the two. They're going for one at the two. Stop them. Keep it to three. They got quads down low under center. Cook is thrown up top the other way. Out of bounds. Incomplete. No one-pointer for you. It stays 6-3 with 846 left in the first. As Papale drinks some water on the sideline after his 17-yard touchdown reception. Too easy. Too freaking easy on that drive. That defense was pitiful by the Battlehawks. So hopefully I sit the over since we got nine points already. Uh, not even halfway through the first quarter. Cameron's happy with the touchdown. Yep, so I'll be doing the avalanche uh, Sunday, Tuesday, Friday, I believe. So I'm covering a bunch of their games. Yep, the Nuggets Lakers, I'll be able to cover that. I was just looking it up um, this morning what, to, what games I can cover. And then I have a decision to make between covering the Nuggets Lakers on Thursday or if I'm covering the draft. And I'm leaning towards the NFL draft since I love football. So, um, yeah, that's that's what sucks. The draft and the Nuggets Lakers game are on roughly the same time because the, the draft starts at 8 o'clock Eastern time and then goes till forever. And I think the Nuggets, the Nuggets Lakers are on the 10 o'clock Eastern time. So, yeah. So I think I'm going to be covering the draft and hanging out and talking NFL sports on Thursday nights. So feel free to uh, join in that. But I'll set that up, I think, today. Today or tomorrow. Today or tomorrow, I'll set up uh, the few extra streams I have to do for the week. So that's what's up. Whew. All right, so we're the Rising Rhino on Twitch. We're Rising Rhino on Rumble and YouTube. 
Make sure that like button and subscribe to the channel. Let's go. What up, Samuel? Yeah, buddy. Samuel has arrived. Now we can begin. We can get the party started. Car knows what's up. Car knows the deal. At halftime... For this game and the next game, these are the two packs I pulled out. We got uh, Upper Deck Collector's Choice. What year is this? 96. 96 Upper Deck Collector's Choice. And then this should be 91 Pro Line, I believe. Um, Pro Line Portraits. Should be 91. Is it 90 or 91? I don't see the year on here. You have 12 cards in this pack. 91. So 91 Pro Line Portraits and 96 Upper Deck Collector's Choice. That one has 12, uh, 12 cards as well. We'll open one each. One for each halftime. Do you like choice cards at halftime? Collector's Choice? Should I do the Collector's Choice, 96 Collector's Choice first? And then the next game we'll do 91 Pro Line Portraits. Cool little series. It was different. That's why I liked it. They got the portraits of them out off of like not wearing their jerseys and stuff like that. Pretty cool. What up, sticks? They're interviewing Papale on the sideline. Mm. Ridiculous. All right, kickoff time. Battle Hawks returning from the 22 past the 35 up top, following a block. 45, 50, 45 down the side, 40, 35, 30, 25, pushing them out to the 20. Boom! They counted with an even better return of their own. Glorious return. Loving it. Very nice, Shepard. Yeah, buddy. Shepard coming through to the danger zone. Nice way to follow his blocks going up top. That was a good one there by number 15, Sailors, with a nice block all the way down. Sailors leading the way. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Shepard coming through. Kaka, kaka. Kaka, kaka. 6 3, Showboat's on top. Motion, Sailors to the right. Looks like man to man coverage on the outside. Come on, McCarron. Let's see that quick slant over the middle for a touchdown. Josh back looking. He's going to the corner. Man to man. Over the shoulder. Incomplete. Trying to get it to Shepard to finish it off. What he started. They had the man to man coverage. No safety help. Darius Shepard. All purpose yards. 183.7. Entering today. And he's going to extend that. Shepard. All right, where's Butler? No targets for Butler yet. Second and 10 at the 18 yard line. It's time. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Running back to his right. No wide receivers up top. Three down low. Takes the snap, hands over the middle, follows his blocks. Nice cut, but tackle the 10. Gets eight on the run by Sailors. It's all Sailors and Shepard on this drive. The kick return combo. And try to hit his shepherd for a touchdown. Gives his sailors at the middle right there. The next live stream today is 7 o'clock Eastern time. The other UFL game. Tomorrow we have UFL at 2 o'clock Eastern time. The Avalanche at 7 o'clock Eastern time. And then we got the Nuggets Lakers Monday, 10 o'clock Eastern time. Avalanche Tuesday, 10 o'clock Eastern time. We're going crazy. We're going crazy. It's play time. Try to squeeze in as much playoffs as we can. Those are down low. 10, 5, diving for the end zone. Is Sailors in there? Boom, he's in. Got it. Got it. Yeah, buddy. Sailors. Sailors. Boom, diving. Sailors, Jacob Sailors, 11 yard touchdown reception. Battlehawks back on top. Nine to six. What up, Russ? What up, what up, what up? Just in time for the Battlehawk touchdown. Nine to six. And they're going for two at the fiver. Touchdown, Battlehawks. Going for two. 
Bartow knows. For two, show me two. Utah, give me two. The best meatball sandwiches. Give me two. Utah, two. Those are down low. Pearson trying to break the tackle. Can't do it. Gobbled up at the four. No points for you. He did not get him two. He didn't listen. So it stays nine to sixer. Uh, but nice play by Sailors. Diving for the end zone. Gets the pylon. Gets the touchdown. Gets the lead. What up, Dan Studio? I haven't seen it yet. I keep forgetting to check. I keep saying to check, but uh, keep watching the game and not focus on the crowd. Oh, uh, there we go. There's a nice uh, view packed out. Only like two open seats. Probably uh, getting some food. So it's probably packed out there. I would say at least 39,000. Hopefully they crack 40. Welcome in, Dan Studio. Russ and Ramsey joining the party in the last few minutes. Nine to six. It looks like it's an all field goal game, but no. Two touchdowns and a field goal. They're uh, interviewing Shepard on the sideline, 28 years old, from North Dakota State. Special teams player of the year last year. And he's in beast mode this year. Maybe, just maybe, he can make it as like a fifth wide receiver on a team and a special team superstar. Short kick, returning to the 35, going down to the 40, 45, 50, to the 45-yard line of the Battle Hawks. Another short field for the Boats. Sheesh. Sheesh, sheesh, sheesh. Great field position. Yeah, the games later both on Fox, depending on your area, will be what game you get. So I don't know. And then we got the Renegades and Roughnecks tomorrow, 2 o'clock Eastern time. Jonathan Manson. You lost the Coyotes to Salt Lake City. Oh, man. Say what? All right, Cookies, quick slant, intercepted, boom, at the 38, returning up top, trying to get to the outside, step on to the face, stays up, 45, 50, following some blocks, cutting back up top, and out of bounds at the 41-yard line of the showboats, big-time interception, boom, Cookies, I think the pass is a little bit behind him on the quick slant over the middle, and picked off by the Battlehawks, let's go. Kaka, kaka. There it is. Nice. 2 4. Or was tipped. Um, that's why it was a little behind because it was tipped at the line. I didn't see that. Pow. Pow, pow, pow. Loving it. <clears throat> yeah, it was deflected at the line. I didn't see it twice as I've been watching. But awesome stuff. Anthony Beck's going nuts on the sideline. Yeah. That's what we needed. That's what's up. What's going on, Seeley? What's happening from the 41-yard line? No running backs, five wides. Here comes Jim McCarron on the UFL logo. Let's get it done. Let's go, Battlehawks. Spread it on. Throws it up top. Hits his man at the 36. Four-yard reception. The third catch for Pearson, but the first one not for a first down. All right. Hill on the pick as they interview him on the sideline. All XFL selection with the Battlehawks from Michigan. Yeah, good stuff, Hill. Good stuff, Hill the second. I said get me two. They got us Hill the second. He's number two with the pick. All right, second and fiver from the 36. Shaka McCarron over the middle, wide open. We'll say Butler. And juking and gets to the 25 on the first. down. it was Butler. He's got that size. I can tell by the size and the shoulders. First down, Battlehawks. They're going. They're driving. They're going. They're going. They're going. Give me that ball. 40K official? Did they say it's over 40,000? I hope so. Imagine they have more than their opening day. The week, week two, they had 40,317. 
Did I miss the graphic? Give me that ball, Barto. Give me that ball. First and ten. Hands over the middle. Gets about six to the 14. Flag on the play. First flag of the day. Sailor's on the carry at the moment. He's got about six, I believe. Five and a half to play in the first. All sides on the defense. Take the yards. So first and five. Sorry, Sailors, take away those yards, but first and five is better than second and four. What up, what up, what up? Seven likes to 30. Smash it. Get those hammers out. Beat it down. Get those hammers out. Smash that like button on this Saturday. Football Saturday, baby. We're going to have football Saturday all the way through, through January, through most of January. Screen pass up top and gobbled up and loses about six yards. That play didn't work. It was a little tight end screen to Everett, and they lost about six. That didn't work at all. You think it's 60,000? No. No way, Dan Studio. They didn't have 60,000. 77 touchdowns and 15 picks for A.J. McCarron in his career at Alabama. It's full, but 60,000? No way. That would be beyond a, a, a spring football record of attendance. Beyond. St. Louis loves their football. Looking pressure, but picked up all day in the pocket. They blitzed, but didn't work. The Rose had shortened the check down, but only gets three for Butler. So it'll be third and five after the, they lost a whole bunch of yards on that last play. The greatest show on earth. Let's go UFL. Get some sellouts. 60K for a sellout? Did they sell out? Did they say that? Did I miss it? That would be glorious, man. McCarron, 10 for 12, 51 yards and a touchdown. A lot of short stuff. No running back. Looking. McCarron. Over the middle. Boom. First down to the 13. Butler coming through. Yeah, 88. First down. Highway to the danger zone. Danger zone. Caw, caw, caw. Hawks, baby. Are you ready for the hurricane? Three catches, 21 yards for Butler so far. The rumblers aren't awake yet. There's only a few people chilling. Shh, in the pistol. Shh. Hands over the middle. Sailors again. I don't know what happened to Durant. Stuffed at the line and fights his way for a yard and a half. Okay. All right, gets about the 10 and a half yard line. 60,000. Oh, capacity and out attendance. Let's get it. Hopefully, they got over 40K. That's what I'm going to see. All right, second and niner from the 11. Running back to his left. Here we go. Looking over the middle. Wide open. Pearson gets to the four. And tackled. Flag on the play. What are you talking about? Oh, there's Gallman. Gallman's finally out there, the ex-giant. 82 capacity, 82,000 capacity. What's the flag? Otherwise, the Battle Hawks have it at the four. Oh, is the penalty on top? Face mask. Hey, oh. First and goal from the two yard line. First and goal. Here it is. It's time. What time is it? Touchdown time. They're going to give it to Goldman. And hands up to Gallman at the middle, into the end zone. Wayne Gallman, the second touchdown. Baby, you know what time it is.
Touchdown, Badhawks. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Spreading it on. Spreading their wings. 15 to Sixer. And they are going for two at the five. They're going the distance. They're going for speed. It's time for a wide. Running back to his right from the five. Air shotgun McCarron. Takes a snap looking. He's got time. Stepping up, throws it back in the end zone. On the money. Boom. He catches it this time. Aitman for the two at the back of the end zone. Beautiful pass. McCarron just slings it in there. And Aitman brings it home. Show me Chufer. Yeah, yeah. There it is. Spreading on the lead. Up by 11. Two score game. Action packed with a minute 51 left in the first. 17 to 6. Like I said, hopefully you guys took the over. What up, Coxie? The Bulls were complete. Miami owns us in the tournament. Womp womp. Womp womp womp. Garland's first touchdown. He's 30 years old from Clemson. All right. He was a national champion with Clemson back in uh, 2016. Gallman with a touchdown. He'll take it. He's loving it. He's happy. His career is pretty much done, but playing UFL football, uh, spreading it off for another year, good for him, man. Good for Gallman. <clears throat> 17-6. to six. What a start for the Battlehawks. A huge interception. Turnovers to touchdowns. That's what we're talking about. Returning from the 12. Here comes the boats. Pass the 25. And tackled at the 30. Their own 30. The worst field position for the boats this game. Let's keep it that way. Yeah, Pearson. Show Pearson on the sideline. Awesome, 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 awesome. They'll probably tell us in the beginning of the second quarter about the attendance. So I think that's when they told us uh, week two about the attendance. So we'll see the numbers shortly. See what kind of a crowd the Battlehawks are bringing in. All right, from the 31, rather. The 31. Memberships available. Feel free to join the Rhino Nation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And Cookus has time to pass. Checks it down over the middle for two to the 33. Only gets a two for the over under 45 and a half is close. First quarter points 23. Halfway to the over. Victor out there to the left of Cookus. We are just about one minute left in the first. Crowd getting loud. Let's get loud. Let's get loud. Victor on the run for about five. Third and three coming up for the Bodie McBoat faces. How embarrassing. 112 to 91. Ouch. On to Colts football. On to Colts football. On to Battlehawk football. And then Stampeders football, and then Colt football. That's what we're doing, man. That's what we're doing. From the 38. Five wide, no running back. Trips type formation on the bottom of your screen. Full start. Got him. Got him. Moving back. Then you're my enemy. Spirit fingers. Moving back five yards. Oh, that's the sixth uh, penalty on the, the offensive lineman Jones. That's not good. It's only week four. Six penalties and not even four games. Ouch. Uh, the Magic and the Cavs should have started right about now. Funk Soul Brother. Check it out now. Funk Soul Brother. 33. From their own 33. Third and eight. Smash them. Only rushing four. Get in there. Pressure. Pocket claps. He throws it up top. Out of there. Throws it away. Done. Hassa. Punt it up, baby. Punt it up. 
Let's go. Battlehawks are pumped. Beck is pumped. That crowd is giving him the energy. He doesn't need coffee. He's living off Battlehawk fever, baby. Battlehawk fever. Boom. They're going to a commercial. It's the end of the first. Yeah, Battlehawks. Battlehawks are crushing it. Uh, is Beck NFL head coach material? Uh, I don't think they'll go from head coach to well, the UFL to the head coach in the NFL. I mean, maybe he can get in as a coordinator specialist first. I see that really tough to do. Is it possible? Yeah. But maybe he transfers over to a, an offensive coordinator or defensive coordinator, whatever his specialty is, I don't know offhand, and then has a shot. But this is to get him the experience to get there. So, or maybe he takes this and goes to college. I would assume this would be a better path to get to college where the coaches make uh, some good money. You know what? Uh, the players' salaries are pretty low, about 60000 So I don't even know what the coaches' salaries are. It can't be that much. But maybe he'll get into college football and then go from there. So that's my opinion. That's, that's my take on that. But anything can happen. That is my take. Since you asked for it, there it is. Vince for the land. Too legit. Too legit to quit. Yep, I heard that song on the radio uh, a few days ago, middle of the week. I was like, oh, man. Going back to, I think, fifth grade. I think it was in fifth grade when that song came out. I remember kids going, too legit. Too legit to quit. Remember that, man. Yep. I even remember the kid. I could picture him doing that in the cafeteria where he thought he was the coolest for uh, singing some MC Hammer. Fifth grade. What are you, 10? 10 years old in fifth grade, going too legit too quick. Classic. Classic. The coolest 10-year-old around singing MC Hammer in elementary school. Does it get any cooler than that? I don't know. Oh, boy. Smash that like button, baby. The Rumblers are starting to wake up. What's up, people on the Rumble side? Make sure you hit that like and follow. I'll bless in the chat. Hit that like and follow button. Thanks, Rhino Nation. All right. Blast that in there. As they interview the army members on the sideline. Army. What's good, Vince? What's happening? What's the deal? You ready for more foosball? Got two games today, one football game tomorrow, and the Avalanche playoffs against the Jets. Playoff time. We'll see how the playoff hockey does. Maybe I'll get a few more people from that. And or if I cover a few um, NBA playoff games too. Oh, it's bad connection here. Returning from the 32 and tackled at the 40. Man, is anybody else having issues with uh, their screen going nuts? Seems bad. Super bad connection. Hopefully it's not just my laptop. I'm assuming it's their connection. I've never seen my computer do this. It's flipping out. ABC's having a seizure over here. It's going nuts. Crap, hopefully it fixes soon. Otherwise, uh, it's getting pixelated. It's getting bad. It's going to be hard to watch. Pressure. It's getting worse. Oh, but cropped out. And McCarran throws it down low. This is not pretty. Mm, 
Anybody else having issues? Pixelation with an ABC on your TV. Anybody else? This is ridiculous right now. Almost unwatchable. It's like in the rainbow colors. I got to close it out and open it. Something's going on. It's the channel. Let me try to go back into it. Yeah, it's all messed up. It's good and mean. Oh, it's terrible right here. It's their station. It's... Mm. Sorry, folks. Let's see if I can get it on ESPN Plus or something. It's just so messed up right now. It is all messed up. The connection is crap. Mm, let's see if I can get it on my ESPN Plus. It's the cable guy. We got Jim Carrey messing with me right outside my house. The internet's fine. It's just their connection. It just started going. Um, let's see. Let's see hopefully i can get it because that is just ugly come on um, bum, 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 ufl uh, watch live on espn Hopefully it works. Cross your fingers. Come on, come on, come on. Don't deny me. Just play it. All right, we got an ESPN Plus. The other connection on ES uh, on ABC crapped out, so sorry about that. So we're in the second quarter, 11 minutes left. Had to go switch on over, people. Thanks for your patience. And the Battlehawks have it at the 34-yard line. It's a UFL game. Going over the middle, hits his man to the 27. Bottle break and a tackle, but loses two yards because of it back to the 30. But So only gets about four. So it'll be second and six by Butler on that play. All right, so I had to switch over to ESPN on ABC, but good thing I have ESPN+. Plus. Because that ABC connection from my streaming service started to go. Do, 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 do. It was horrendous. Four catches, 25 yards of Butler. Motion, Shepard up top. Hands it over the middle. Sailors to the 27. Third and three coming up in field goal range. Bad Hawks up by 11. That would make it 14, but we want another touchdown. We want another touchdown. Get on the first down. Let's get in the danger zone. Highway to the danger zone. Danger zone. Keep crushing it, people. Keep crushing it. All right. From the 27. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Motions down low. Looks up top. Oh, too high. The first pass off the mark by McCarron. Ah, he was going to Jackson up top. That would have been a first down if it was a good pass. But McCarron's not perfect today. He's having a really good game, but just off the mark. And the Battlehawks have to kick a field goal to make it a 14-point game. Shucks. Shucks, shucks, shucks. How many likes we at right now? Schmidt coming out there for a 45-yard field goal. Oh, 
Oh, we shanked it wide right. No good. So that drive ends with zero points. That's not good. So it's day 17 to 6. Nine minutes left in the second. We have 23 likes. We have seven more likes to hit 30. We can get it. We'll get seven more likes at 30. We're going to hit 40 for this Battlehawk game. Everybody loves the Battlehawks. You got to love the Battlehawks. Got to love the Battlehawks. Schmidt missed a 45 yarder. That was a super short one. 45 yards is now a short field goal, people. Remember when Norwood missed that 47 yarder in that 1990 Super Bowl between the Bills and the and the Giants, that wasn't too bad back in the day. Now, 47 yard is nothing. It's a piece of cake. Easy peasy. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? We shanked it. He missed it. He missed it. He missed it. Oh, well, what are you going to do? Man, this only has, what, 64 views so far? Come on, man. We should be, like, close to 200 by now for this game. Only 64 views? That seems insane. That does not seem right. Something's fishy. Strange things are afoot on the Circle K. Oh, well, more people are on Rumble now, so that's good. Ray Finkel, Ray Finkel? Even Ray Finkel could hit that 45-yarder. All right. Ray Finkel would have had that, Vince. Would have had it. Would have, could have, should have, but didn't. All right, let's check the NBA score for the Magic and the Cavs. Who said Cavs? Was it Vince? Were you going for the Cavs? It is 19-8. to 8, Cavs on top. Wow, good start. Hopping out to an 11-point lead, the Cavs. What do you know? The LeBronless Cavaliers. 19 to 8. You know, that would be a good jersey to get. An old school Orlando Magic Shaquille O'Neal jersey. Shaquille O'Neal. That'd be a fun one to have. Pre Lakers. Ozzy Osbourne. Uh, we're in the second quarter. Second quarter, Samuel. We are in the second. Okay, come on. That was a long little commercial. It's time. Laces out, Ray Finkel. Laces out. Pappy's, Pappy's Smokehouse. That's a cool place. Get some barbecue. Who don't want no barbecue? All right, the showboats take over at 35. And hands up, bounce to the outside. Victor switches hands to the 46. Bam! Nice run by Victor. Come on, tell us about the crowd. It's time. How many people did they get? How many did you get here in St. Louis? Tell us the numbers. How many people showed up to the parte? Eight and a half left in the second quarter. Boats at the 46. Fakes a handoff. Cook has plenty of time. Going deep up top. Man to man coverage. Oh, overthrown by a half a yard flag on the play. <laughs> Let's see. Mm, the safety went to the other wide receiver, and then he was thrown up top to Davis. He wants a flag. Dean Blandino looking at it. Holding on the defense. Liar, liar, liar. Automatic first down. That's Hill with the holding. The man who had the pick before. Automatic first down for the boats. Uh, oh, 8.30 tonight, Lakers Nuggets, Eastern Time. 
All right, let's go. At the 49 yard line of the Battle Hawks, motion. Hands it off to Victor up top. They got the run game going today. Pow! About 18 yards on the run. Another first down. Battlehawk defense not doing so good today. Do not give uh, Victor some confidence and let this bowling ball roll on through on you. Jeez Louise. So, in field goal range, the boats are driving, trying to make this a one score game before halftime. I just said he was a bowling ball. Don't steal my lines. Are you listening to me? They're listening to me. Four carries, 39 yards, almost 10 yards to carry. But Darius Victor, the big 2-7 bowling ball. Guys are stealing my lines. They're a split second behind me. Uh, Harris is injured for the Battle Hawks. Limping off. That ain't pretty. All right. Which one are we going to open at halftime in the next uh, – Eight minutes of football time. Are we going to go upper deck 96 cutters choice or pro line? Upper deck, pro line. Upper deck, pro line. Which one are we opening this game? I feel like I want to open the pro line. But 96, we can get a Marshall Falk. Marino on his last legs. A bunch of other stars. Maybe a Terrell Davis. Curtis Martin to add to the collection. Upper deck. Oh, my broadcast is uh, a lot faster now with ESPN Plus. All right, that's good to know. And runs at the middle for about seven. So if I have a chance to watch on ESPN Plus, it's closer to real time. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Swen on the carry halfway through the second. You want the upper deck collector's choice. Every pack contains a You Make the Play interactive game card. Meet the Stars Trivia Challenge. All right, at the 25, here comes the boats. Shotgun pressure, checks it down, hits his man. Papale to the 20. At the danger zone, gets the first down. Boats drive continues. I don't have any of those. I don't have any of those cards, Vince, and I can't show them on stream, I'm assuming, if I did have the cards. I should just send you some, some of those cards. That'll make you happy. All right. Here we go. Looking. Plenty of time. Throw it to the end zone. Can't make the catch. And then there's a flag. He didn't turn to look at the ball when he hit him. And it's going to be first and goal. Uh, 15-yard penalty. So they'll be at the six. Pass interference. That's a shame. So they don't get it at the two-yard line. They get it at the six, I believe. Chris Peyton Jones, number nine on the Battle Hawks with the penalty. You're killing me. You're killing me with the penalties on this drive. All right. They got it at the six. First and goal at the Sixer. Time for some defense. Defense. Come on, Battle Hawks. Where's that defense? Runs up the middle. Powell pounds his way through into the end zone. They should have stopped him at the four. He breaks his way through. Victor punches him in the mouth for the touchdown. Five-yard touchdown run by the Boats. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Closing the gap. Man, ran him over. Rolled right over him. Uh, 17 to 12. Five point game. They'll probably go for two to make it a three point game. Ran him over. Uh, that was a touchdown. That ball, that, that ball broke the plane. 
Five plays, 60 yards, and three minutes for that touchdown. All right, they're going for two at the fiver. They're going for two. Stop them here. Stop them. Don't make it a field goal game. Cookus. Down low. Makes the catch. Come on, man. Sarat gets it. Raw. Oh 17 to 14. It is now a three point game. Oh, man. The battle has better drive down and score a touchdown to make it a two score game. That pisses me off, man. That sucks. Samuel says, let's go, Memphis. Uh, ridiculous. Flipping Battle Hawks. Uh, the Cavs are up 27 to 19. Eight point lead over the Magic. The only um, playoff game on right now. In two hours, we got the Suns and the Timberwolves. That's the next uh, playoff game. And then the Knicks and the 76ers at 6 o'clock. And Lakers Nuggets, 8.30 Eastern Times. All right, hit that like button on YouTube, Rumble, and Twitch. And hit that follow button on Rumble and subscribe button on YouTube. And follow button on Twitch as well. My bad. Uh, Memphis. All right, so we'll open the Collector's Choice, 96 Collector's Choice pack at halftime. What are we going to get in this, baby? Are we going to get a Marino, an Elway, Montana? Or was this last year, 95? Was it 96? I don't know if there's a Montana in here. Steve Young, perhaps? I think he's in the 96 cards. Are we getting Jerry Rice, Marshall Falk? Who can we get in this 96 pack? Terrell Davis, Curtis Martin. Those are the key ones. Troy Aikman, Emmett Smith. Fantastic finishes again. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Card. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> Listen to the card. I got the best mods in the business, baby. Card, car, Giants fan. Dallas, even though she's sleeping right now. Actually, she's probably working. Yeah, we're probably going to have another great finish, Vince. Another great finish for some UFL action today. Nada, yada, yada. A few more subscribers to get to uh, 1340. We're almost at 1340 on the YouTube side. So make sure you go and subscribe on the YouTube. We're so close. So close, people. So close. How's everybody doing on Twitch? Who are you rooting for? Do you got the Battle Hawks or do you got the Showboats? Are you going for Kakar Kakar or are you going for the Bodie McBoat Faces? It's a good drive for the Showboats. Good drive. Possum Boy has arrived. We all know who he's going for because he shows up with one of these. I'll give him a couple extra ones. All right, returning a pass to 20, 30, 35 to the 40 deuce. 41 yard line. So Shepard returns it to the 41. Hello, 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 possum boy. Next on the Brahmas, Renegades, and Stallions, Roughnecks. But they're both on at 7 o'clock Eastern time. So I can only cover one of those. I can cover both on Sunday next week Battlehawks Defenders and Panthers Showboats. But I hate the overlap. I hate it. I hate it. But what are you going to do? I think I'm going to miss three games this season for the UFL because of the three overlaps. So out of the 40 games, I'll cover 37, plus the two playoff games and the championship. So it's 40 games flat I should be able to cover for the UFL. It's time, Possum Boy. It's time. 
It's time. I knew it was going to do that. Why? Why are you so dumb? What is this? What's up, brother? <laughs> oh, they got that as a as an instant now. McCarran pump fake looking wants to go deep. Checks it down for five for four yards to the forty-five. Pow! Then they mark it the forty-four. They only give him three sellers on the play. Bruh. Checking out these other little uh. Sounds here. Oh man, this is too funny. What's up, brother? Ridiculous. Oh, what was this sound? I think people are trying to get to get this sound. Where is it? Pump face, screen pass the other way. Incomplete third and seven. I feel like I gotta get that one. I feel like I need that one. Add to the soundboard. Battle horse ready to challenge the Chiefs for the Governor's Cup. Good call, good call. Um Come on. All right. From the 44. Looking, looking, looking. McCarran throws it down. Hits his man first down. Beautiful pass. Right on the money. Exactly where it had to be. And takes him out of bounds to Aitman. Wow. Man. That was an elite throw. He's got some NFL throws, I tell you. He's got some NFL throws. Oh, this is a different board. I will try to get this one. Let me see this one. All right. So first down by the Hawks at the 44. Here we go. All right. Shotgun. Hands it off in the middle. Breaking a tackle. Squeezes through for about six to the 38. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Be back in a minute. It's lunchtime. What up, Chris? Welcome in. I saw your prediction before. Sixers and six, eh? <laughs> All right. All right. All right. From the 39 yard line, second five. Three and a half minutes left in the first half. Going up top, it's his man. First down, eight men again. Run the clock. They get, he has just enough for a first down. Got it. First down it is. Bam. Holding. What? Oh, they had to repeat that after the holding penalty on Bushel Beatty. Liar. I hate you. I hate you. Uh, I think I gotta get the other one. Um, let me see. No, go to my board. Oh, why is it being so stupid? Throws it down low, intercepted. To the 40, 35, 30, 25, 220, cutting back, tackle to the 13. Are you kidding me? Oh, huge turnover by Mc, um, McCarran. What are you doing? There we go. 
Jeez Louise, ridiculous. Boo this man. Terrible. Terrible there, Possum Boy. Terrible. Should be should be a good game today. I hope so. This is a close game here. The Battle Hawks are tearing up in quarter one, and now the boat's tearing up in quarter two. Johnny, what up, John? Memphis looks good today. No, they look good in the second quarter. They look good in the second quarter. Hands over the middle. Victor to the 10. Uh. All right, they have a chance to take the lead for the first time this game. Oh, the no, second time this game. Man, they're dominating the second quarter. Domination. Stupid holding penalty destroyed the uh, Battle Hawks, and then bam, he throws a pick. Terrible. All right, from the 10 yard line, second and six. Battle Hawks got to make a stop here and hold them to three. Going to the outside, Kukis throws it away. Third and six coming up. All right. Third and six, 222 on the clock. All good, John. All good. Glad you showed up. Appreciate you being here, man. And this should run the clock down to the two-minute warning. This should run it down to the two-minute warning. All right. We got people arriving on the Rumble side. Thank you, Rumblers. Like and follow. Sub it up if you want to. You can sub if you want to. You can leave your friends behind. Because if friends don't sub, and if they don't sub, well, they're no friends of mine. All right, two-minute warning. 17-14, Battle Hawks on top. All right, let me go get some more water. I'll be right back. Low on the water front. Oh, I'm rocking uh, Kobe Fleener old school Colts jersey today. That's what I do. I got to move my jerseys behind me. I got all my other jerseys that I bought uh, last year that I didn't stack up behind me. Got to get those bad boys added to the collection. Answer the pick. They got to do something. They got to do something. Pew, pew, pew. I like that little sound effect. All right. It's almost time to crack open that pack, people. Almost time. Crack that pack. Crack that pack. Crack that pack. One more like to 25. How many jerseys? How many jerseys do I have? Or how many newer jerseys do I did I get uh last year from like flea markets and stuff and eBay? Uh what do we got? Two, four, six, two, four, five, six, seven. Is that uh, two, four, six? Okay, the two, four, six, eight, ten. So that's like 10, 6, 7, 23, and 3, 26. 26 jerseys that I got uh, last year. A lot of them for like 10 bucks. And then a few Colts jerseys that were like 15, 20, 25. My favorite video game. Man. Final Fantasy VII, the Metal Gear Solid series. Uh, hmm. So a few RPGs out there that I really liked. Uh, altogether, I had 40, so maybe I have 60. 
I don't know. I'll have to count them up officially later. Where is my 23 there? It might be 40 behind me. Maybe. All right, hold on. They're at the 10-yard line, and then I'll count. I'll get a legit count in a little while. From the 10, third and six, plenty of time to pass. Throws it down low. It's his man fighting for a first down. It's going to be close. Davis close to the sticks. They're marking him just short. They're marking him just short. Fourth and one. What are they going to do? They better dial up something good. You have seven all Broncos. Most of mine have been Colts. Most of them are football. But let me see. Two, four, six, seven. Uh, there might be eight. Eight, not football. Oh, that's a full start. That was a full start. Moving back, kick the field goal. You're not with me. Moving back. Moving back. Back him up, back him up, back him up with one minute, 16 seconds left in the first half. I'll count in a second, John. Got all Broncos. I got a few Broncos that I bought. <clears throat> I'll uh, get those in a second. A few Broncos that I got at flea markets. I got to go back to the flea market. Maybe I'll go next week when I have time to, to see if I can get some cheap uh, cheap jerseys. I like finding, searching for like the hidden gem jerseys. Romance of the Three Kingdoms. Romancing the Stone. Avalanche stream tomorrow. That's right. They got to kick the field goal now. Good. 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 Field goes up. Splits the uprights. Ties the game. Oh, man. Ties up at 17. So we got a game. We got a game. But the Battlehawks have a little time to make something happen before halftime. Could have gotten a rust for three bucks. What? Where? I hope that uh, maybe when I go to the flea market, they'll have some. I, I would buy it. I would buy it. I'd buy it for ten bucks. A Broncos uh, Russell Wilson jersey. I'd buy it. Zombies ate my neighbors. <laughs> all right, minute 14. The Battlehawks have all three timeouts. The live over under 16 and a half. Now it's time to take the under. Battlehawks giving one and a half, take the Battlehawks again. Oh, you meant 30? Okay. Maybe they'll be selling by the flea market for 10. Maybe. But if I see a Russell Wilson jersey for 10, I'm buying it. But, yeah, maybe the a uh, week from tomorrow I'll have time in the morning and the weather should be somewhat nice and go searching for some jerseys. And returning from the 13, past the 25, 30, up top to the 34-and-a-half-yard line. Yeah, we'll see. I doubt there'll be any Russell Wilson jerseys, but maybe there's some haters that are like, screw this. I'm donating my Russell Wilson jersey. I've had enough. Get this crap out of my face. And then I'd buy it for 10. If they're selling it for 10. But I got a few good jerseys for 10 bucks. Injury on the showboats with one away left. First half. 17 17 game. Just keep waiting. Just keep waiting. I want to open up that pack. Oh, Delrick Abrams from Colorado College. Played two games in the NFL with the Falcons. Two games. You got a Tebow? I got uh, three Tebows. Three different Tebows. 
I got his like Florida um like Tostito giveaway jersey or something. And then the two different uh, colors. Got those all for like ten bucks each. Cause why not? Why not? Shotgun McCarron looking. Quick slam in the middle of the butler to the 40, breaking a tackle to the 47. So seven yards on that play. Under a minute to play. Go, 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 go. Three timeouts. Get it moving. Get that play in there. And get going. Tebow. Tebow. Swings it down low in the screen pass. First down. Now drop the T at the 49. Drop the T. T, T, T. 44 seconds left. First down, Sailors. All right. As he limps off, calling in uh, Gallman, I guess. You can't find any under fifty to eighty dollars Canadian per jersey. Might as well buy a new it. Yeah, I'm not buying a used jersey for eighty bucks. Man, weird. That stinks. Um, yeah. One place I bought like fifty dollars worth of jerseys. Another place I bought like fifty dollars worth of jerseys, and I think I got twelve total jerseys. A couple of them, a couple of the jerseys aren't in the best shape. There was one that I bought for ten dollars, which was a Terrell Davis, but the 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 numbers are kind of worn. But I'm like ten dollars for a worn out old school Terrell Davis jersey. I'll take it. Terrell freaking Davis. It was good stuff. So even though it wasn't the best shape, Terrell Davis from the 47. Here we go. McCarron looking over the middle. Hits his man to the 30. And to the 28. First down. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Did they drop a timeout? That was Pearson on the catch. Pearson with the play. All right. In field goal range. 37, 36, 35. No, they call timeout with 36 seconds left. Why they let two seconds roll off? Would you say you had a plethora of Tebow's? I guess you could say that. Seven catches, 44 yards for Pearson. That was a big one. Um, I don't think I'm going to wear the Tebow's, but I think I got them for like the three for 25 bucks. You have a couple Elways and a Manning. I got a few Mannings. But uh, I'll have a... An Elway my uh, family got for me for Christmas. It's just the old school number seven. doesn't have his uh, name on the back, but it's a Bronco jersey with a seven on it. Goes over the middle of the Sailors incomplete. 32 seconds left. Third and ten. There are 1.2 million Daniel Jones jerseys on eBay. Now, I, I want to see them on, like, in flea markets in New York. I bought an Eli Manning jersey at a at a thrift store for ten bucks, so that was one of them. Eli Manning, thrift store, ten bucks. How do you not get it? That's well, such a sweet deal. Looking, McCarron throws it down low, tries to drop it over to Butler. No holding penalty, no call, and it'll be fourth and ten, and the Battle Hawks have to kick field goal. No holding? Hmm. Hmm. No penalty, no call. Uh sad times. Only get three. It looked promising after that sweet pass to Pearson. 22 for 29, 131 yards. Lots of completions, but only 131 yards passing. But that was a costly interception. So one touchdown, one pick from McCarron. So we'll have a field goal attempt coming up. Four.
47 yarders. He missed the uh, 45, but he made a 54. So here comes 47 from the right hash. And oh, he sliced it right through the left upright. I thought it was going to sail to the left or hit the upright, but nails it and gets it. So three point lead. Woo, we'll take it. We'll take it. So Battlehawks on top, 20 to 17. And uh, the showboats will be getting the ball in the second half, but there we still have 21 seconds left. But woo. You have an old OJ Simpson plastic 7 Eleven cup. <laughs> oh, man. That's interesting. 7-Eleven plastic cup. I loved when back in the, man, must have been late 80s or maybe 1990, when 7-Eleven had those Slurpees and on the bottom you would you could undo the bottom and you would get the little round like um, baseball car, uh, guys that like, uh, what do they call those things? It was like just a little cool card. And I love getting those with the Slurpees. And I had a whole bunch of them back in the day. I must have had like 13 of them. I remember Cecil Fielder and some others. Returning and the boats to the 30. What the heck were those called? No, they weren't pogs. It was like a pog uh, cardboard. But this is like before the craze in 1994. It had the, like, you would go and it, it would have the, whatever, would they change looks, like swings, like bing, 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 or something like that. But those are cool. You can probably find those on eBay. 7-Eleven Slurpee Circle Mini Cards or something. And the boats kneel it down, going into halftime. All right, all right, all right. So I'll look that up in a second. I'll see what eBay has. Because someone's got to still have those car, those little things from back in the day. Yeah. They end on a positive note up by three. 20 to 17, Battlehawks on top. Action packed game. All right. Time to break open the 1996 Upper Deck Collector's Choice Pack. That's what we're going to open up in a second. Make sure you hit the like button, follow button, and subscribe button. It is time. See if we can get some good stuff. See if we get some decent stuff. We'll see if we get uh, tons and tons of hot garbage. Ah, uh, they're talking to Butler right now. But all right, 96 upper deck collector's choice. Five catches, 32 yards for Butler. All right, let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. This is probably one of the newer packs that I got in that lot of packs that I bought a few weeks ago. Oh, they call them base. They call them coins back then. Maybe. What is this? A kicker. What do we got here? Upper Deck Company. Oh, it's a play card. Interesting. You make the play interactive cards. Was this upside down? Why do they put them all weird? They had some stupid uh, technology back in the day. Kick is good. What is this, though? I don't even know what it does. Jason Elam. It's a good kicker. Yeah, the Slurpees were fun. John Michaels, rookie collection? Come on, man. On the Packers, that's crap. Let's see what this card is. This one's interesting. Let's see what this is. Franchise playmaker? Joey Galloway. Oh, man. I remember Joey Galloway. He had so much potential. It's a cool look that they show a play on there. That's pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Franchise playmaker on the Seahawks, Joey Galloway. What is this? Oh, that's a good one. 
Is that Steve McNair? That'll go in the binder. I got Steve McNair in the binders from the Houston Oilers. All right. That's a binder card. What's this? Are these all you make the play cards? No, there's a bunch of them. Let's see what this one is. Who is this? Oh, Barry Sanders. I don't have this one either. A Barry Sanders card. That goes in the binder. That's a good one. That's a cool looking card. So Barry Sanders and Steve McNair. So far, so good. Dropped. Santana Dotson. Another Packer. That's nothing. Who is this? A Giant. I don't remember him. Lawrence Dossie on the Giants in 96. I didn't remember Lawrence Dossie. He was on the Bucks for a while. And then he went to the Giants. Lawrence Dossie. But that's a crap card. Was this guy upside down? Who's this? Cornerback on the Ravens. Daron Jenkins. Deron Jenkins. Who's this? Ihanji Owazuki. I don't even know how to say his name. Is this a rookie card? Is this his first year? 89 on the Niners. Hmm. This one's backwards. Andre Risen? Andre Risen on the Jaguars. Bam. What is this? The heck? Mystery base card. That's what they gave me. This mystery base card is an action stickum insert set. What's the complete set consists of 30 base cards. To complete each card, simply hear the player photo, team helmet, and player name position stickers in front of the mystery card. How to match the stickers to the base card. Match the player photo sticker to the player photo. Blah, blah, blah. Solve the player action stickums. Clues on the base of the mystery card. Oh, we got clues here. So, obviously, it looks like a quarterback. We got to guess who this is, people. We got to guess who this is. So, they got clues. Looks like a quarterback. Before I even... Hmm. Without reading any of the hints, 96. I'll just make a guess. I'll just go John Elway. Hoping, but let's see. Let's read the clues now. All right, so I'll read the clues. In 1995, he became the youngest quarterback to ever pass with 10,000 yards in a career. Um, So that's not John Elway. In 1995, he became the youngest quarterback ever to pass with 10,000 yards in a career. Oh, I know who it is. The Patriots made him the first overall section uh, se selection in the 1993 NFL Draft. That should give it away. The first overall selection in the 1993 NFL Draft. He led the NFL pa in pass attempts in each of the last two seasons. So that was, what, 94-95. Uh, he led the NFL in pass attempts. And he led the NFL in passing yardage in 1994. Who's got it? Who knows who it is? So, mystery base card. But it doesn't have the actual player on here. I think I have him in the binder. It's not Manny. Manny was drafted in 98. It's a 96 card. Card Craze got it. Drew Bledsoe. It doesn't tell us on here, but that's who it is. So that's technically a Drew Bledsoe card. This is a Drew Bledsoe card. 
I guess that's what the true blood cell looks like in the 94 upper deck collector's choice. And then I got the play card. And it tells you how to play. Oh, you can play a game on here. That's cool. To receive a 12-card starter pack of You Make the Play, simply send a check for $2 and mail this in. If only I could trade that and get those cards. All right. I'll run and put these away real quick. I'll be back in a couple minutes. White as a ghost, definitely Drew. Got him. That's funny. Got him, got him, got him. I'll be back in a few minutes.
And yeah, the kick returned to the 41 yard line. Thank you. Forgot to uh, adjust that. Oh, and he stumbles. Cook is, gets back up and he's down to the 35 yard line. Got him. What I was saying uh, about the blood cell, I was trying to find the blood cell in my book. And the 96 Upper Deck Hunter's Choice blood cell, but I didn't have that blood cell. I had a whole bunch of blood cells, but not that blood cell. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so that's a shame. So I couldn't show you the 96 Upper Deck Hunter's Choice blood cell. Uh, all right, let's go. Second and 16. Cook is plenty of time. Checks it down in the middle. Gets back to the 42. So gets to the original line of scrimmage. She'll be third and 10. Oh, I'll check now. Let's see what I have behind me. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38. I got 40 here. So it's right. I had 40 there, and then I think there's 23 over there. I'll check that in a second. Sorry about that, Samuel. I was putting the cards away. And 39, throwing it over the middle. And no flag broken up. They want a flag. They've been getting the flag all day for the close calls. No flag there. Boom, three and out for the showboats, and they'll have to punt it away. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Way to start the second half. I'll check this. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. What's that 26 there? So I have 66 jerseys. I'll double check it. I'm trying to count the hangers from a distance. And backing them up to the five-yard line on the punt and tackle at the 15. Anyone interested in around 500 loose football cards from the 70s to now? Yes, of course I would. I love that stuff. Um, let me see, though. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 20, 22, 24. 24, it looks like. So 64 jerseys. Plus this one is 65. 65 jerseys. And players are fake. McCann rolling out to the right. Checks it down. Hits his man to the 21. Five yards on the reception. I will say they're interviewing McCann's wife. Um... That's because she's got the the couple of kids there. Then the kids got the McCarran jersey on. But, uh, yeah. The, and he's got one guy with the Kakaw Kakaw shirt on. Loving it. <laughs> Man, I got uh, two Paytons. Uh, and then one Broncos. So three Paytons. Up top, hits his man. First down, six yards on the button. Boom. <laughs> Move it, move it, move it. I just got the whole family there, the wife, and it looks like grandma, some friends. Loving it. What's up, what's up? Uprising, welcome to the party, pal. Welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. CFL Winnipeg. The Blue Bombers. We'll be covering all, all the all the CFL starting June 6th, man. We'll be covering it all. Two yards on the run up top. Second and eight. Not much there for Sailors. We haven't seen Durant. I hope he's okay, man. Hopefully he'll be back. Up rising. Welcome to the party. Welcome to the show. We cover tons of football. UFL, CFL, NFL, college football. The whole shebang. And then we mix in some avalanche hockey and uh, some tennis. Maybe a little playoff basketball, too. We'll see. Hands over the middle. Juking. And gets about six on the carry for Sailors again. It'll be third and two. Third and short coming up. 
Volcano. What up, what up, what up? The AFC South should be fun with Stroud and Richardson and a young Levis. And then Trevor Lawrence, of course. Could be good stuff, man. Could be a good division. Maybe they're going from a trash division to a top-notch division with all these young guns. It could be good. Motion, Pearson behind McCarron going up top. Up the middle, I mean up top. First down to the 40-yard line. Move the sticks again. I like it. Eight men on the catch in the first down. He started nine games for the Battle Hawks and had 24 touchdown passes last year. Led the NFL, uh, XFL. Joined the Bengals practice squad. They, they uh, He played in two games. He was on the active roster in December. Good for him. He'll make a few million as a backup again this year. You're done working. Let's go, Bartel. Let's go. 2017 Battle Hawks on top. Driving down the field. Only gets about three on that to the 42. Pearson again. A lot of short stuff. They're trying to wait and wait. Soon McCarron's going to go deep. He's going to take a shot deep soon. There's just tons of short stuff. Bring it deep. Do it. <laughs> I like that little sound effect. Is it just me? Probably just me. Uh, come on. Let's get a touchdown. Make it back to a two-score game. I feel a lot more comfortable, Battlehawks. All right. From the 40 deuce. And hands over the middle. Squeezing through, breaks a tackle, and gets about five and a half. It'll be third and 1.5. Third and like 1.5-er. Let's see. 51 to 39. Cavs still on top by 12. I'm doing the first round, I believe. I have to decide between Nuggets Lakers, game three, or the NFL draft round one, which I'm leaning towards the draft round one. Hands it off up top on the little jet sweep and the round loses four yards and the drive stalls. Jackson on the little end around did not work. Not good. Welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. Eight minutes left in the third, and the Battlehawks have to punt it away. Well, there goes that nice uh, drive. Third and one, and they run the freaking end around. Just should be fun because the Titans have a chance to get a blue chip player. Good luck, Volcano. Good luck. Delay a game on the kicking team. What are you doing? What have I done? Back in my five yards. Uh, I got one of these guys. Yep, yep. The Cavs are big time in the lead. The showboat's offensive line sucks. Not today. The There's no sacks. Well, no, one technically because Cook has fell down. But the Battlehawks defensive line is not coming through today. So the showboats have a chance. And catch him with the 23 and tackled right away. Smash him. Smash him. Man, oh, man. Colts, Texans, Jaguars. Little side of the Titans. I'm ready. I am ready, Volcano. I think they're releasing the schedule in a few weeks. I believe it's in May when they'll have the exact schedule out there, which would be nice. All right, smash that like button, people. Let's get to 30 and beyond. I think we're closing in on 30 likes. Closing in. Uh, yeah, we're four likes away from 30 on the YouTube front. So make sure you keep smashing it. Smashing it. Is it rigged like the other league, says Michigan? No. Uh, but maybe. It's it's hard to rig football, but you could. It's not as easy as boxing. Boxing's easy to rig, but 
That horse always makes us sweat it out, uh, Bartow, I know. <clears throat> Man. You know the Titans are ready to compete yet? Well, you never know. Levis can make that step up big time in year two. Trevor Lawrence stepped up big time. Tua stepped up big time. Stroud stepped up big time in his first year. So year two can be a sophomore slump, hopefully. But, uh, yeah, Richardson only got a few games under his belt. And hopefully he flies high. What up, Word Life? What up, what up, what up? What'd you miss? Close game. You're missing a close game. Close, close, close. Whoops. Close game. That's for you. Close game. It's going to be down to the wire again. Hopefully not. But maybe we'll get uh, – they both have one turn over each, so – if the battle horse can get a nice little pick six, crush them. That'd be nice. Pick six. But uh, the battle horse needs to get some pressure on Cookus. That'd be a start. Anybody leave cookies out there for Willie Nelson? Snoop Dogg? No. No, I did not. Guardians are the best team in baseball now? The Guardians? The Guardians. I'm talking about the Guardians? I'm not talking about the Guardians. Did they sell their soul? All right, here we go. Halfway through the third quarter already here, week four. We'll be covering the other UFL game a little bit later. The game to be determined. I think it's the uh, Baramas, though. Runs it for a couple yards up the middle. I think it's the Baramas game. The Brahmas Panthers. I hope I get the Defender Stallions, but I don't think so. Panthers Brahmas, most likely. Okay. Second and eight at the 24. Well, let's see if we can get a first down in this drive. The boats. And checks it down, makes the tackle, gets loses a yard. So it'll be third and nine. Well done. Nice read there by the Battlehawks. Nice way of stepping up and making the play. He saw the screen coming. Got him. Third and nine. Let's get another three and out. Drunken injuries. Third and nine. Stuff them. Back to back three and outs for the defense. Get the ball. Score a touchdown. Crush them. Crowds allowed out there in St. Louis. They're going nuts. Loud, loud, loud. Third down, they're 0 for 3, Memphis. Battlehawks 6 for 10. Crush them. And pressure. And down he goes. The ball's loose. Oh, and the showboats jump on it. Oh, man. Strip sack fumble. Cookus is hurt. Cookus is down. Oh, no. But it's a three and ouch. Battlehawks get the ball. Hopefully, Cookus is all right, though. Hopefully, he's okay. He is squirming. Oh, my. UFL red zone called it. What was the attendance? I didn't see it. They didn't mention it. Or well, maybe they did at halftime, but I, I was putting my, my glorious Steve McNair, Barry Sanders, and Drew Bledsoe pulling my binder. I didn't see. Let's uh, we can check Twitter or X, rather. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, they have last uh, week two out there. Let me see if they have something out there now. Mm. I didn't see anybody post it.
They're saying over 38,000. So over 38,000. So I don't know if they're correct. Oh, here we go. 38,310. So they were down. They're down 2,000. So they had 40,317, and now they're at 38,310. Still phenomenal. 38,000. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. All right, cool, cool, cool. That's good stuff for uh, the Battlehawks. 38,010. This is week four. 38,310. Keep track of this attendance. Oh, man. Fantasy land. We need Marvin Harrison Jr. You're hearing, oh, someone hears that there's a trade brewing for the Vikings and the Chargers, a blockbuster deal. The deal includes Herbert? That's got to be rumors. That's just got to be nonsense. Smokescreen. No way. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Are the Chargers going to go trade away Herbert? Bring in J.J. McCarthy. Sounds ridiculous. Not Rhino material. Three likes to 30. Come on, get it. Ooh. I didn't hear anything about J.J., but that's pretty crazy. Wild. We'll see as he gets closer and closer to draft Thursday. Oh, stripped off the edge, swiped out of his hands. Who hit him? Oh, he got popped. And his right shoulder. Was that was exactly the same number of the home game? Or was that the home game? I was assuming that was today. Maybe they were comparing that to maybe maybe I misread it then. That just seems totally random. So maybe I misread it. Hold on. Maybe then that's not what it is. And it punts it out of bounds. Let me see. Maybe it's not out there yet then. I don't see anything out there. Now, I could be wrong. Maybe I have the wrong number down. What's up, UST? What's happening? UST in the house. What's going on? Make sure you guys go check out UST and the Dixon Way. What's up? Coming through, streamers flying high. I'm loving it. Welcome in, gentlemen. Welcome in, welcome in. Butler up top gets about four to the 38, second six, as he stood up. What's up, my fellow streamers? Everybody check out UST and the Dixon Way. Let's go. Subscribe to their channels. Awesome, blossom. We got 27 likes smash. Thank you, Dixon Way. Let's go. Uh, we want to double cast with the UFL tonight, UFL Red Zone. I'll be covering the other game later. I will be covering it. Getting ready for the NFL Draft Thursday. We got Avalanche Hockey, Nuggets, Basketball, Playoffs, 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 Playoffs. So is it down low to Sailors for two to the 40, flag on the play? <clears throat> um, Yeah, I'll be covering the Avalanche tomorrow, first game of the playoffs against the Jets. That's what's up. Uh, what are you talking about? Is they saying holding on the offense? Let's see what they do. They should take the penalty. Holding on the offense. Liar! Uh, 
Alexander, number 78, on the hold, and it'll be second and long. Uh, maybe that was last year's attendance. It was on Twitter, so recent. So unless they were just comparing it to last year's. I'll have to double check that, Barto. From the 47, second and 16, though, running back needed. In the backfield, that is. McCarron rolling around. Throw it. Hits his man for 15. Bam. So it'll be third and two. Pow. Is that Shepard? Shepard on the catch. McCarron's like, boom, 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 going. And then throws a dart on the money, on the run. Gets him to the 41-yard line. I don't have a Breeze jersey, and I don't have a Kamara jersey. 29 for 3,764 yards from McCarron. Checking it down like crazy. Come on, let's get this first down, 32. Shotgun. And rolling out to the right. Hits his tight end. Gets a first down to the 35. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Keep it moving, people. What's the good word with my fellow streamers? You know it. You know it. Co co oh, I think he said Coach Sasquatch. Could Sasquatch be drafted in the NFL? Never. Never. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Three and a half minutes left. Battlehawks up by three here in the third. It's at halftime, 53-41. Cavaliers on top. McCarron on the shotgun. Got a blocker, Goldman, up top to the 20, 15, might be a hold. There's a flag in the secondary to the 10. Come on, stop with the penalties. Oh, unless it's something on the uh, showboats, that would be a huge first down to the 10. What are these refs doing? Come on, get on the battle, battle hawk side. If you're not with me, then you're my enemy. Block below the waist, they're saying. Six yards down the field. Uh, bad block. Bring them back. Two minutes for being idiots. 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 Uh. Welcome in, Dallas. Long time. No see. Where have you been all morning? Mukaruza, 30 years old, announces retirement. No more Federer. Nadal's on the way out. And soon it's going to be all Djokovic for a year or two before he goes. And then it's going to be all the young buds. All the young guns. First and 19. First and 19. Nine-yard penalty because it was six yards in front of the line. Shock and McCarron over the middle, knocked away at the line and incomplete. Stupid penalties hurting the Battlehawks on this drive. Brutal. 180 cookies in the bank. Pow. Bow. Pow, pow, pow. What's up, people on Twitch? What's going on? I see you over there. Let's go. Appreciate it on the Twitch side. You guys are the best around. Nothing's ever going to bring you down. You're the best around. Go St. Louis. What's up, Great Lakes? Kaka, kaka. Let's go, Battlehawks. Let's get it. From the 45, Santa 19. Hands over the middle. Sailors to the 35. Whistle gets 10 yards. That'll be third and nine. Third and nine coming up. Smash that like button. Smash that follow button. Subscribe to the channel. Ooh, chocolate chip. Everybody loves chocolate chip cookies. Everybody loves them. Phenomenal. 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 Nine rushes, 45 yards, and a touchdown for Sailors. Diving for that pylon before. 
they didn't give us any news on Durant, who started this game, had a couple of carries, but limped off and hasn't been back since. 7 for 11 on third downs. It's time. Keep it going. Throws it up top. It's his man at 20. First down to the 15. Boom. Butler coming through. First down. What's up? <laughs> My bad. Wrong one. He's not dead, people. Butler did not die. The Battle Hawks did not crumble. They got a first down inside the danger zone. First and 10 in the red zone. Eight catches, 61 yards for Butler so far today. Nine targets. Butler tearing it up. Now time to get it to Pearson. Get the ball in his hands and let him, you know, go all Seabiscuit style on us. Seabiscuit style. Looking, looking, rolling. He's got room to run. Run it. Run it, McCarron. Run. 15, 10 out of bounds at the 13. He's in slow motion. Always looks like he's running in quicksand. About 31 seconds left in the third quarter. Running in quicksand. That's okay. You got a few yards. You got about six. Second and four. And it looks like they got to snap the ball before the end of the third quarter. A half a tick. Faster on the uh, play clock than the game clock. Chocolate chip cookies, ice cream sandwiches for the win. Smash that thumbs up, people. You call a timeout? You call a timeout? What are you wasting timeout for? They're wasting a timeout at the end of the third quarter. Your mom was surfing around the movie channels, and get, guess what was on? Karate Kid, followed by Karate Kid 2. Is that taking it? That takes us to the end of the second quarter, uh, end of the third quarter. Oh, uh, man. Hopefully you get number three next. Tons and tons of Karate Kid. It's good stuff. Can't go wrong with Karate Kid, man. You, once you, you're switching the channels and you find Karate Kid, you stay on the Karate Kid, whether it's one, two, or three. And then if it's the next Karate Kid, you switch to Cobra Kai. Hakeem Butler, baby. Butler coming through. Coming through. -na 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 -na. Stupid ad, stupid commercial. I don't know why this guy's so famous. I don't think there's anything that good about him. Kevin Hart, not a fan. Doesn't do anything for me. Don't think he's that funny. Don't think he's funny. 7 o'clock Eastern time is my next stream. Is it 5 or 5.30? I think it's 5. Yeah, this game should be done around 1.30. And I'll have about three and a half hours. I'll get some lunch. Take it easy. Set up my uh, stream for tomorrow, the Avalanche stream. I'll get that going for tomorrow during my break after I have my lunch, of course. -na 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 -na. Mr. Miyagi. Wax on, wax off. Dallas used to date Mr. D, uh, Mr. Miyagi. Well, we want a touchdown. We need a Battle Hawk touchdown, people. Battle Hawk touchdown. It's time. Get ready. Um, the Cavaliers and the Magic are now in the third quarter getting underway. Adios, Sam. I'll see you later on tonight for more football action. This is what we do. This is what we do. All right, we're on Rumble, YouTube, and Twitch. Rising Rhino, Rising Rhino, and The Rising Rhino on Twitch. Make sure you're watching everywhere, following everywhere, and you are subscribed everywhere. We must build up the Rising Rhino community. Make sure the Rhino Nation grows and grows and grows. Bum, bum, ch, bum, bum, ch, bum, bum, ch. We're getting there, people. We're getting there. 
two followers, two subscribers away from 1340. Two subs away. Let's get it. Let's get two. Two. Let's get two on the YouTube front. Second and four. McCown on the run again. Goes and slides at the seven. A little bit of late contact. No call. No penalty. As he slides. Did he get the first down? That is the question. Leafs Bruins rumble at 5 o'clock. Rhino time. Do the kata. Third and two. He could have dove forward to get the first down, but now we're at third and two. Come on. You must go for the touchdown. They're at the seven. Pound it through. They're going another timeout. You're wasting timeouts. That's two in less than a minute. That's two in less than a minute. Horrible. Well, now if you don't get this touchdown here and you don't and you go for it and you don't get it, you're in trouble with those timeouts. You better make sure you pound it in now. So you don't need those timeouts later. That's all I know. Leafs and the Bruins rumbling. You said at five? Oh, so when I start streaming football, it's hockey time. All right, I'll be paying attention. And I'm sure you'll be watching with Sam and you'll keep me posted. Oh, they, they didn't cost them a timeout before? They used the timeout at the end of the third. Did they not charge him for that one? Since they were going to the third quarter, technically. Oh, wow. Then the battle horse got lucky. Because they called the timeout at the end of the third quarter. And they didn't charge him for that. Because they just let the time run out. I guess that was a clock differential lucky. Rolling to the right. And he got him. Oh, it made it seem like McCarron was going to commit with the run. Defender comes in, dumps it to Sutherland for a touchdown. That's what's up. Very nice, Deke. Touchdown, Battlehawks. Well done, McCarron. Boom! Sutherland coming through. What up, Joseph? Say, go, boats, go. Oh, 6 o'clock rhino time. So you get to see the beginning with me. And before you run along for your game. 26-17. All right. They're up by nine, which is still a one-score game. Let's go, Battle Hawks. Cha, 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 cha. They're going for one to make it a two score game. They're going for one. Come on, get the one, make the two score game. At the two. Shotgun running back to his left. Motion, wide receiver. Pearson goes behind him. And diving for the one. Did McCarron get in? I don't know if his knee hit too early. They're giving it to him at the moment. It looked like he was just short, in my opinion. But bam. Show me one. We're at 27 17, 10 point game. I thought he was short. They're going to look at it. I think he's down. I think he's down. I think that knee is down. They run a fake option. He's down. Oh, so now they changed it. They ruled him down. He's short. I was right. He was down. So no good. McCarron doesn't get in. Doesn't get in. You got a dog in your lap? So super slow. AJ didn't get in there, word life said to say. It's a nine-point game. It's a hard one-point. Uh, uh, it's a hard one-score game. It's basically a two-score game because they got to get a, a three-pointer from the 10. So that makes it a two-score game because they're forced to get a three-pointer. But it's still within reach in one score with a follow-up second score afterwards. Your dog is in a sunspot by the patio door. 
Oh, doggy. Yeah, we got 10 people chilling on the Rumble side. What's up, Rumblers? Hit that like button. Hit that like button and hit that follow button. We are 20 followers away from 100. We, we, I want to hit triple digits in the next month. Triple digits on the, on the Rumble side of followers. I got 80. Got 80. I'm getting hungry. Getting hungry, people. It's almost lunchtime, late lunch. Almost 1 o'clock my time. Ready to eat, people. Ready to eat, Rhino Nation. And my next stream will be 7 o'clock Eastern time tonight. Keep it real, Rumble peeps. Keep it real. It likes to go to 40. Ah, oh, we cracked 30. I didn't notice. I did not notice. Shout out to all the likes on the YouTube front. All right. It likes to go to the big four. Oh. I will take it. You have pizza and salad from the pub. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I have a little bit of pulled chicken left. One little meal left out of it. One little last uh, sandwich I can make. I'll save that for my snack, my light dinner tonight. I will figure out what I'll have for lunch in a little while. I'll have to go shopping and do something in the crock pot tomorrow. Stifler's mom has got it going on. No, wait, that's Stacy's mom. Stifler's mom. Oh, American Pie. Great movie. Great comedy from back in the day. Can't believe it's so old now. Love that movie. Love all the American Pie movies. Such a good little series. Good little run of movies. 33 for 42, McCarron. 200 yards, two touchdowns, one interception. Most completions in the UFL game, 33. A lot of dinks and dunks, but it's working. 26 to 17. That works on top. Isn't the sauce and your peppers next in the rotation? I believe so. And then I want to make that chili again. But yeah, I haven't made the sauce and your peppers in a while. So it's got to be sauce and your peppers. Returns it past the 30 35. The boats to the 45 yard line. Oh, the hair and the wedding cake was so funny. That was, that's like disturbing, sickening. Uh, oh, there was a slight grab of the face mask that they didn't call. And his knee was down and McCann was short of that uh, two-point conversion. Silly cloud zebras killing me. All right, showboats to the ball at the 45-yard line. Their own 45-yard line. Sausage and peppers. Got to go and make those bad boys. Pop it tomorrow. Throws it up top. Too high. Gets popped. Hopefully they don't throw a flag for a defenseless receiver. They don't. He didn't hit him high. He hit him around the waist. Incomplete. Second and 10. Too high of a pass there by Cookus. He hit him in the body. That was Papali. He's hurt, though. He took a shellacking in the midsection. And the high part was the shoulder. Have I got the spices down for the chili? Um, Mostly, I like quadruple my efforts, and it's good. And throws it up top for a first down, 11 yards on the reception. Another high pass there by Cookus, but he jumps up and makes the play. Oh, sorry, not Cookus. Troy Williams. Cookus isn't out there. That's right. I forgot about the injury. I assumed it was Cookus, but Troy Williams out there from Utah, 29 year old quarterback. Um, yeah, I know about how much I put in. I don't have an exact recipe, but I know exactly how much I put in now. Do I put beans in the chili? Yes. Kidney beans. And runs it to the 40. 
I could throw in what black beans too if I wanted to. I haven't done that, but yeah, I just put a whole bunch of kidney beans in there. And yeah, I didn't add rice afterwards last time, but uh, I'll have to do that this time. I'll make it and then I'll throw in the rice and mix it in, make it a super meal. Super meal. Gotta have the beans. And hands up to Victor up top, and the Hawks are there. Battle Hawks. Three yard loss. It's third and ten. Nicely done. Have I tried refried greens? I have. I have. There's a place by me um, in Castle Rock that's a nice Mexican place. What's got all that stuff, and it's pretty good. Pretty darn good. But I haven't made those. But I've had them. Nope, I just tossed the kidney beans in there and a whole bunch of other stuff, and it's delicious. Shotgun looking. Plenty of time. Get him. Rolling to the outside. Juking. Makes the play. Only gets three yards. They will have to punt it up. Let's go. Did I get a, a rice cooker yet? No. I've been buying like 10-minute uh, rice and cooking that. So I just get a box of that and uh, and I and I cook it up myself in a pot. Ten minute rice, easy peasy. So it's not too bad. I mean, I guess it, it would be a little bit rougher if I was doing it for a bunch of people. Then I would need the rice cooker, but making it just for me, I get by with the one little pot. Cornbread waffles. Are they going for it? Oh, it was too loud. They couldn't communicate. So fourth and seven. The stadium's going nuts as the showboats are going for it at the moment. We'll see if they stay going for it. Kaka is the law. He's got a little flashy neon sign with Kaka as the law. Kaka, 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 Kaka. DeFilippo running on the field, dropping the tee. Dropping the T. Yeah, you better use that timeout, sucker. You're going to get crushed. Battle Hawks going to wipe you on the next drive. You're going to be quick. That's what you're going to be. Done. You're going to be done. That's what's up. They're in the commercial, and they think over what they got to do. Crush them. Get him a flipping body bag. Yeah, you did it, Battle Hawks. Ah. Still got 10 people over there on the rumble side. Keep rumbling, rumbling, rumbling. What? I'm tired of the stupid ad. Get the stupid ad out of my face. Get out of here, Kevin. And your stupid dancing, your stupid sweatpants, and your stupid... Dancing, your stupid betting. Get him out of my face. I don't want to see him. Out my face. Out my face. All me up in here. Gonna eat that cornbread. Love that cornbread. Boston Market had some decent cornbread, but they're like crapping out and crumbling. There was one by my sister's place that closed down. I don't know if there's, there might be a Boston Market by my school actually. I haven't been to a Boston market in a while. Long time. Some places make really good cornbread, and some cornbread is not good for business. Um, yeah, way too dry if you like it. Some some places uh, places know how to moisten it up and and really do a good job. But yeah, if it's like if it's not done right, man, that cornbread can be really dry. You gotta like dip it in that brown gravy, soak it up to make it uh, extra tasty. So, you gotta get that gravy with it. If the place is not that uh, top notch on on the cornbread, gravy it up, man. Gravy it up. Car knows. Puts cream corn in her cornbread. I'm going to butter your bread.
I ought to eat your cornbread. Nom, 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 nom. All right, back in action. Let's go. Fourth and seven. Pump it up, baby. Pump it up. You got to pump it up. Don't you know? Pump it up. You got to pump it up. Let's go, Battlehawks. Let's do it. Do it. Do it. Jerk seasoning and chili. I'm not a I'm not a jerk fan. All right, they're still going for it at the 46. Fourth and seven. Shotgun. Only rushing for pressure. Boom! Socks them! Turn over on downs! Yeah, buddy! Williams going nowhere! Nice little blitz, well designed, comes through, smashes them, done, done, and done. Thanks for coming out. Let's go! Yeah, yeah! Nice sack. That's the third sack of the day. The third of the day. The first one was when Cook is fell. The second was a strip sack fumble. Third one right there. The showboats don't have any sacks, but bam. So the starting at the 49 yard line of the showboats. Here we go, McCarron. It's time. Looking. Watch out. Throws it out of bounds. It completes. <clears throat> Almost got sacked there. Yikes. Hawkamania. Hawkamania, let's go. <clears throat> hide your kids. Hide your wives, hide your kids. What was that little uh, quote? There will be no slapping of the mamas. Don't you know, pump it up. Sailors out there to the left of McCarran, second and 10. Get a touchdown and put this game away. 10 minutes left. To go in regulation time, runs it for a yard. Third and nine coming up. Come on, on turnover downs, you get a first down. Ferguson on the stop. Come on, it's only a nine point game. Plenty of time. Crush them. Oh, that's the seasoning. It's called Slap Your Mama Seasoning. I've never heard of it. Obviously, you knew that already. Slap Your Mama Seasoning. Nine for 13 on third down, third and nine. McCarron's been coming up with some prime time throws. Keep it cruising. No running back because he went out wide. Takes the snap, rushing four. Over the middle. Hits Pearson. First down, so sweet to the 34. Boom. First down. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Full steam. Pow, pow, pow. Uh-oh, is he still down? Get up. Get up, little guy. Get up, little guy. Let me get some action from the back section. Body moving. Body moving. Under review? What are you reviewing? Oh, is it a fumble? Is it a fumble? The ball came out. He's on a body. Oh, my God. And then it's going to be Boats recovery. Oh, my God. A huge turnover by Pearson. It was to the 33. Pearson looks like he lost it. We're covered by the boats. Come on. This is ridiculous. It's unbelievable. You suck. Come on, Pearson. You had a huge roast down. Ah. And a huge turnover the boats needed. Nine minutes, nine seconds left. That's ridiculous. Ridiculous, I tell you. Ridiculous. Pearson. Come on, man. 
Jacor Pearson loses it, doesn't recover it. And the boats have the ball back at their own 33 after the turnover. Shotgun hands over the middle. Pow. Gets about three on the carry up the middle. Victor on the run. Victor on the run. Ugh. I hate you. Underdogs. 43 points. So it still didn't hit the over yet. A field goal hits the over. Maybe they'll be the under. They scored so many points in the beginning, but it's cooled off. All right, 37 yard line. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Takes the high snap, hands it over the middle, gets to the 40, third and three. Three yards for Victor. Third and three. The boat horns. No. All right, boat horns. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. We'll be covering the Brahmas and the Panthers later, I believe. Whichever game they show that I have access to, I'll be covering that 7 o'clock Eastern time. But let's see the middle. Throws a quick slam. Bob was a drop in. He should have caught that. Who dropped it? I thought it was uh, Papali, but now it's Sage Sarat. No good. They're going to have to punt it away. The blitz right up the middle. Too much pressure. Had to unload it fast. Surratt should have caught it. Should have caught it. Should have been a first down. But no can Deuceville, and they have to punt it away. Punt it away. Yeah, definitely should have been caught there, little fella. Man, Williams put it on the money. It's in the fourth quarter with seven minutes and 15 seconds left. And punts it away from their own 30. Boom. And returning from the 16. Here we go. Pearson up top 25 to the 33 on the punt return. He wanted to squeeze through. Bates vision. Not happening, Vince. Not happening. All right, let's have a nice long drive, hit a field goal, and call it a night. Yeah, baby. I like it like that. I like it like that. I like it like that. I got soul. I got soul. All right, let's see what's going on. 70 to 58, Cavs on top. Still a 12-point lead. It's consistently around 12. Hands it off up top to Sailors for a deuce to the 35. Only gets a deucer. I got soul. I got soul. All right. Six and a half left to play, people. Battlehawks up by nine. 45 pass plays, 16 rush plays for the Bad Hawks. Keep running it. Run out the clock. Or go deep for a touchdown and squash them. Play extra fake, go deep. Hands over the middle. First down. And more. Sales breaking free. He could go the distance. He could go for speed. Tackle up the nine. Doesn't go all the way. Ah, Sales is pumped. Almost had a breakaway for a touchdown. Brings him to the nine. What's up? What's up? What's up? Yeah, buddy. Say what? To the nine. Oh, man. Almost took it to the house. So close yet so far. I was like, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a can't touch this, can't touch this, can't touch this. But no, he's tackling the niner. What's up? S-O-S. Someone save me. He's here. He's the man. He's the myth. He is the pickle juice legend. SOS, join the party. Make sure you guys go check out SOS. Subscribe to his channel. Does tons and tons of glorious content. But his jets must go down tomorrow night. It must happen. We must crush them. We must sweep the SOS leg. 12 carries, 105 yards, rushing for sailors. That one. Gets him the top 100. I think that's the first 100-yard rusher this season. 
They're, the teams haven't been able to run the ball too well. My beautiful people, beautiful people. Yeah, buddy. Welcome to the party. SOS Elder injured on the play from West Chester College for the showboats number 26. As the score is 26 17. Battlehawks ready to put this game away with 6 09 and counting on the clock. Remarkable. We go to war tomorrow. Good luck. Good night. I'll most likely go to war with you in the morning. All right, from the eight, actually. Shotgun, pistol, rather. Hands it over the middle and stuffed. No game. Second goal. You are Canadian. You root for all Canadian teams in the playoffs. Well, the avalanche originated in Canada. Does that help? That's that's me throwing a Hail Mary, trying to real card crazed in. You got to get some UFL gear. Ah, yeah. Yep. I got some Canadian gear for the CFL. I don't have any UFL gear yet. I mean, I have a Battlehawks uh, from the XFL. I got two of those hoodies. So I could wear a Battlehawks hoodie. And, and McCarran dancing around, staying in the pocket, looking, 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 pointing, throwing, back in the end zone, six to landing, Pearson, touchdown. Well done, McCarran. Nice stick in the landing by Pearson, and it's touchdown time. Thirty-two seventeen, eight yard touchdown by Pearson. Yeah, buddy. Oh, baby, that's what I'm talking about. It's touchdown time. We're gonna play it again. There it is. Let's go. Battle Hawks, baby. Battle Hawks. Woo. There it is. Going for one at the two yard line. Pistol action. Motion. Blitzing. Runs up the middle by Gallman and stuffed. You get nothing. 32 to 17. It stays. So there's my battle, my my nicer battle hawk hoodie. I wear my zip down at school a bunch, uh, but yeah, battle hawks, baby. B. Battle hawks, baby. All right, so this one's not going to be coming down to the wire. That's all I got to say about that. No more pressure. The pressure is off for the battle hawks. All McCarran dancing around in the pocket, running for his life, points to Pearson, throws a dart, gets the touchdown. Pearson's wearing the shades on the sideline as they interview him. Touchdown, SOS, touchdown. Hawkamania, let's go. Caca, 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 caca. Yeah, yeah. 11 catches, 70 yards, and a touchdown. Welcome to the Battle Hawks. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Glad to have you, baby. Enemy is now our friend. He's our teammate. He's our leader. And most importantly, he's our friend. <clears throat> to the Pearson Show. Raise your glasses. Returns for the 35 and tackle the 39. That's all you get. Four minutes, 50 seconds left on the clock. The Hawkamania continues. As they're up by 15, they smash the over. <sighs> Loving it. <laughs> Loving it. When's the next stream, SOS? Are you streaming the Avalanche as well tomorrow? I mean, the Avalanche Jets game tomorrow. Let's go. Smash that like button. Let's get to 35 likes and beyond. 
Three-man rush throws it up top. Ooh, almost intercepted. Makes the catch of the 46. Six yards on the grab. Sarat on the catch. Sarat. Great interview. Seven legs to the big four. Oh, almost there. Crush it, people. Crush it. Man, oh, man. All right. We got 12 people watching the Rumble side. Thank you, Rumblers. Like and follow. Help me out. Help me out. Move me on up the list of the Rumble side. Something's wrong with your mandula oblongata. Oh, man. You're wrong, Colonel Sanders. Mama's right. Mama's always right. Pearson's pumped. Number one. Good stuff. Yeah. When you add Pearson to the mix, man, Pearson, Butler, Shepard with a side of Aitman. Dangerous. And then Sutherland, the tight end, got a touchdown today. Watch out. Watch out for these Battlehawks. Good stuff there, SOS. Good stuff. 11 targets, 11 catches. Wow. He's perfect to Pearson. But Pearson does have that one costly fumble, but he made up for it with that touchdown. James Tunstall, 24-year-old from Cincinnati, was on the Dolphins practice squad last year. As he gets carried off, well, he's walking it off, but needing some assistance to uh, walk it off. Walk it off, walk it off, walk it off. Cacaw, cacaw. Let's go. Fifteen point lead, second and four for the boats at their own forty six. They have two timeouts and the two-minute warning. So it's still a chance, but not a good chance. Throws it over the middle. Nice throw right in there, but he can't make the grab. Linebacker on the coverage. Serac could have made that catch. Amazing throw by Williams. Nicely perfect. He just lays it right on the money. Should have caught that. Sage should have caught that. That was huge, perfect pass. Should have been a big time first down to like the 28 yard line of the Battlehawks. Missed it. Can't mess that up, man. You can't drop that, Sage. And you were you were nasty last year. And you're struggling this year. <clears throat> but since I'm a Battlehawk fan, I will take it. And Williams throws it down low, hits his man at midfield for a first down. Gets it that time. Surratt makes the catch there. Can't drop back-to-back -back passes, I guess. Can't mess that up. Three and a half left in regulation time. Let's go. From the 49 of the Battlehawks. Keep it moving. Williams, pressure. Pow! Smash down the 41. Got him. Boom. Pounded his chest. Was that B he he D? B -he -he. Mr. Feeney, Mr. Feeney with the sack. Big old 56 around the edge, slams him down, gets pumped up, boom, pounds his chest, and he's screaming, screaming. Nice sack, fourth sack on the day for the Battlehawks. Feeney is in beast mode. Loving it. Second and 18 after that huge sack. And the showboats call timeout. They have one left. One time out left for the booties. Man, oh man. Crushing them. SOS. Someone help me. SOS in the house. It's almost lunchtime. 117 Rhino time, 317 on the East Coast. Let's check in on the NBA. 78 to 60. Cavs crushing the Magic. Not looking good. Beginning of the fourth quarter, the Magic are pretty much done. Losing all game. Straight up from the beginning, getting beat down. 
All right, three for six, twice sacked Williams. From the 43, let's see what they can do. Four-man rush, a little stunt action. Throws it deep over the middle, knocked away, good coverage. No flag, third and 18 coming up. Sebastian Seabass on the stop. Sebastian from Cruel Intentions. Ryan Filippi. The boat is sinking. The Bodie McBoat bases are going down faster than the Titanic. They're crumbling. The Battlehawks are flying too high. They're sinking those boats. Sinking them. They're one for seven on third downs. Here we go. Pressure throwing it down low. Makes the grab. And they tackle him short of the first down of the 43. But it'll be fourth and three. So nice play there by Anderson. Mr. Anderson. That's fourth and three. So manageable fourth down here to keep them in it. And 215 and counting. There's a chance. There is a chance. Fourth and three. You got to stop this before the two-minute warning. You need the time on the clock. You need two scores. And they snap it. Pressure the blood saying. What happened? What they do? Were they full start? Full start! Full start! Got him! Oh, man. Moving back five. It'll be fourth and eight. Big boy 76. Move that left leg too, too, uh, too fast. Too early. Not good. Not, not, not good. Oh, man. All right, here we go. Fourth and eight. Pressure, throwing a rough pass, and incomplete. Nobody home. And down goes the boat, said the two-minute warning. The Battlehawks will take over, run down the clock, and get their third victory. Go to three and one, sending the boats to one and three, because it's pretty much game. Set match. Battlehawks, three and one, baby. Go, Battlehawks, go, Battlehawks, go. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Let's go. Battlehawks, tear it up. Tear it up. Loving it. Loving it, people. The boat is sunk. The boat faces are quick. Dunzo. Done, done, and done. They're done. They're done. It's over, Rock. Stay down, boats. Stay down. They got Titanic. Over, Rock. Over. Good. My stomach's about to start growling. Time to eat, people. Time to eat. So before you guys run away, make sure you hit that like button, follow button, subscribe button. Tell your friends, tell your friends, friends, tell your grandma. Join the Rhino Nation. Appreciate you guys coming by. Appreciate you guys hanging out, chatting. I'll be streaming the later UFL game. The Brahmas and the Panthers, I believe. The Defenders and the Stallions are playing as well. But I'm pretty sure I have access to the Panthers and the Brahmas. I want to cover the Stallions, but the Stallions are probably going to blow away the uh, defenders. So the Brahmas and the Panthers game should be close. So that should be the, the more intense game, I, I assume, the closer game. But I wanted to cover the uh, I wanted to cover the Stallions because the Stallions are phenomenal. So we got two minutes left. We'll wind down for the final two minutes and break for lunch. Yeah, baby. Nice little Saturday. Two stream Saturday, two stream Sunday. It's a shame I can't cover the Knicks or the uh, Nuggets tonight. Got to cover the football game. That's what we do. We're a football channel. We're pushing football hardcore. We got to crush everybody else in football. That's my plan. And build up the football channel. Build it up big time. 
Would I like to cover the Nuggets? Sure. Would I like to cover the Knicks? Yes. But I got to stay true to the roots and cover as much football as I can. This is what we do. Two subs to 1340. Come on, we need two more subs on YouTube for 1340. We can get there. Two more subscribers. Well, they got some gymnastics coming up next. Where's Dallas? Gymnastics coming up next. Caca, caca, caca. Caca, caca. You know what's up? Cujo! Cujo in the house. What's going on? Oh, man. They, they get a huge crowd. Battlehawks get tons of people. Tons of people at the stadium, man. Even their grandmas show up to these games. Smash for a two-yard loss. The showboats only have one more timeout left, so this game is over, Rock. The draft coming up in Detroit this Thursday. I'll be streaming the first round. I won't be doing rounds two through seven, but I will be streaming round one on Thursday night. So get your, get a whole bunch of snacks ready. Get a whole bunch of tasty beverages ready. Get everything ready. I'm going to make sure I have snacks and tasty beverages to chill and hang out with you guys and talk the draft. The ones up the middle maybe gets back to the original line of scrimmage. Third and long coming up. The Cujo has arrived. I appreciate it, Cujo. S-O-S. Thomas and S-O-S are streaming the Leafs game tonight. Good stuff. Enjoy that game, Dallas. Enjoy that game. The Cavs will win the series and get to win the four to one. They win in five. Nice. Full twisting, double back, stick the landing, and good. I'll have to do some stuff in the in the summer as McCarron rolls to the outside and slides down at the 48-yard line of the showboats. It'll be fourth down, and that's the end of the game. That's it. That's all she wrote. That brings it to a close, people. Brings it to a close. So, Dunzo, Dunzo, Dunzo. Yeah, buddy. I like it like that. I like it like that. I like it like that. All right. We should have Baramas and Panthers later, but I'll get my stuff ready just in case I can cover the Stallions and the Defenders. And then at halftime, we will be dropping. We'll be opening up the 91 Pro Line portraits. That's what we'll be doing. Good stuff. Good game there, Creedy. Good stuff. I love it. The 3 and 1 Battlehawks. Maybe we get a Battlehawk Stallion championship game. That's what I want to see. That would be fantastic. That would be amazing. <laughs> All right, I am signing off, people. Football all day, all week, all year. That's what the Rising Rhino does. That's what the Rhino Nation does. Covering the game, 7 o'clock Eastern time. We got another uh, UFL game tomorrow and the Colorado Avalanche and Winnipeg Jets playoff game. I'll cover the Nuggets and Knicks on Monday, Avalanche on Tuesday, um, off on Wednesday, and then draft on Thursday, and more Avalanche on Friday. That's what we're doing. A lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff during the week this week, not just the weekend, because we got some playoffs. We can cover some playoff action, people. All right. Thanks again, Rhino Nation. I'll see you in about three and a half hours. I'll catch you guys soon. Thanks for chatting. Thanks for the likes. Make sure that like button's clicked before you run away. Tell your friends. Let's go, Rhino Nation. I'll see you guys 7 o'clock Eastern time. Enjoy your break.